what happens is that the horse starts getting some sort of back pain, then they start getting a little bit of uh, resistance to work. They're just not running to the full potential. So we find out that their sacroiliac joint is actually having some sort of problem. And a lot of time that creates basically arthritis. And we go in and we put corticosteroids and that decreases the pain. So the first thing that we do for the sacroiliac joint injection is we do a sterile preparation. This is a very important step because an infection in any joint could be lethal. This procedure is a little painful and horses tend to react a lot. So they jump up and down or they buck. So the next step that we do is we actually give them a little bit of sedation. We found out with the ultrasound where the entrance to the joint was. This is a pelvis. This is a sacrum. The junction between the pelvis and the sacrum is called the sacroiliac joint. And we put the needle right here in the sacroiliac joint. It's very important that we do two parts of the sacroiliac joint, the cranial part of the sacroiliac joint and the caudal part of the sacroiliac joint. This is the cranial part of the sacroiliac joint because it's towards the front. If you come back, this is the iliac part of the pelvis and this is the sacrum. So this is the caudal part of the sacroiliac joint. Directed with the ultrasound, we have 100% guarantee that we put in the product in the place that it needs to be. Back in the days, we used to do this blindly without ultrasound. Probably 50 to 60% of the medications were placed somewhere else. Now, we do with the ultrasound, and 100% of the medications goes exactly where it needs to be.